I'm always really excited about Nuke because every, I don't know, every year we make it better. Every year there's lots of exciting things to do and I always get excited about what's coming up in the next release. Um, but I think the thing that gets me most excited is when we, is when we go and see how Nuke actually gets used in production. We managed to do 219 shots in Super 8 in nine weeks with a crew of five people, which is kind of insane. And Nuke was the head of that pipeline. And what I love about the Nuke environment is that within moments, I've been working on the edit, and then we jump into a shot, and then I'm just grabbing nodes built into Nuke that I'm already doing amazing 3D tracking. I'm jumping over here and doing a really amazing roto using the planar tracking in Nuke, and then throwing in some particles on top of that. It's so organic the way you just jump back and forth. So when you're sharing projects, when you're working with a big team to get things done very quickly, it's very difficult to look at the nested projects and really identify what's going on. Whereas in, in a node-based program like Nuke, we could really zoom out and see the big picture. There are so many things that the 3D side of Nuke can do that alleviate a lot of the extra pressures of doing things uh, in the 2D end of things. Uh, it's definitely invaluable. <laughs> we find that, especially with the deep compositing, that we'll use a lot of the, uh, the point cloud generations to really you know, use that information that we get from, from our lighting team. In Life of Pi, it gave us really good control in the sense where our lighters, whenever we had an update to Pi, the boat, the water, we were able to just do one pass with the deep data which would speed up our process dramatically. We do a lot of commercials here, so we're doing a lot of cleanup background work that would be too intensive to go into, a, say, a full CG pipeline in the short turnaround we have in a commercial. Say, for example, we had to do um, simple snow passes, and we use the, the latest particle tools and we to do those quickly and efficiently in a, in a commercial pipeline. Previews and onset, it's used surprisingly uh, often in, the, in those places as well. So. If you could do it while you're shooting, you could alter what you're shooting to be to take advantage of things that you only see once you composite it. And so we used to do that all the time because I would have to show Marty the actual shot, the way it's going to look eventually while I'm shooting it. And with all of the tools that sometimes are, are in other pieces of software at much higher price points, it's just the power is amazing. It's just everything is right there. It really is about just what's in your head.